Welcome! My name is Like It's 1985. This is my review of Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Class Side Swipe. And this is a figure that's, of course, a repaint and a retool of the original Fall of Cybertron Jazz figure. And I have to say that Hasbro has done a great job at uh, retooling and re sculpting uh, this figure, both for the vehicle and for the robot mode. And what I mean by that is if we take a look at the figure here, obviously the color is different, but if you take a look at the uh, front grill, and I'll do a comparison with the front grill of Jazz. Now Jazz here is in, in vehicle form, or robot form, but you get the idea. It's, it's an entirely different sculpt for the uh, uh, front end of the vehicle. In fact, if you take a look at the wheel arches here, you can see the shape there. Well, if you take a look at the same spot on the Jazz figure, you can see it's entirely different. Uh, just very fantastic job on Hasbro's part actually, of actually re-sculpting a significant portion of this figure. And this section here is also re-sculpt, as is this section all the way back to the spoiler. If we take a look at the back of Jazz here, you can see uh, the side swipe figure doesn't have the thrusters, or whatever you want to call these, uh, that are on the uh, uh, sort of the back of the vehicle mode. And the spoiler here is different, as you can see. So there's a significant change uh, from the original Jazz mold, which I like, which is a, a great uh, thing that Hasbro has done with this figure. And as we look at the figure here, obviously it's red. I got some nice silver paint apps here, uh, white stripes. Um, you still have the gap back here, uh, but uh, really nice uh, re-sculpt. Now, if you take a look at the vehicle just like this, uh, this section, the side of the vehicle, all the way to the back. That's the original uh, Jazz uh, mold there, but everything else is uh, is been retooled, so that's really cool. Uh, the figure comes with a weapon, and this is a really, really cool weapon, perhaps uh, as equally important as the figure itself. This is what Hasbro calls the extending battle cannon, and you can see you grab onto this part here, and it extends it extends out like that. So really nice uh, job uh, of the sculpt here and the paint, but not only that, you get a significant amount of plastic, a significant size weapon here, and that's really cool. Uh, so a great job on Hazard Part for designing this, and uh, we'll look at that more into in the actual uh, robot mode. So speaking of robot mode, let's go ahead and transform this guy. Basically the same transformation. Uh, take the side here of the vehicle, unpeg it like that. Uh, take the legs here, bring them down, split the legs, and rotate the feet forward. Uh, next, you can see up top here, this, this uh, panel will split from that front hood there. And what you want to do is get the head so that it actually makes that clearance there. So the head should come up like that. And this whole thing, this uh, hood here, should actually uh, rotate down into the chest. There we go. A little bit of a clearance issue. And then there's actually these uh, little notches here, and they actually will uh, go over some grooves. It's hard to show on camera, but they're, it's really subtle, but it, they're there. And once you find them, it's you pretty much can get the figure locked into place. You can maybe see down there. Anyhow, uh, then you want to take the uh, section back here and kind of use your finger and push down. That should uh, allow these panels to come out. And that should take care of the chest area for side swipe here. Uh, as for the arms, uh, there's a little tab there and you want to untab that from the top of the arm there. Rotate that around and then there is actually a notch and a tab and that sort of locks the uh, shoulders in place. And then you want to take this section here and untab it from there. That frees up the arm and allows it to articulate like that. That's one arm. And of course you do the same thing over here. Untab that. Untab the section up here. 
whoops, this gets folded like that, put the arm back on, like that, bring out the hand, and there you have swerve, or not swerve, yeah, side swipe in robot mode. So pretty cool. And uh, let's go ahead and just start off with a visual comparison uh, with Jazz in robot mode this time, of course. You can see the differences there. All right, so as I talked before uh, about the front of the vehicle, which is now, of course, the chest, you can see a significant change from Jazz here to Sideswipe. Uh, looking at the back, the differences become apparent as well. There's the back of Jazz in robot mode and the back of Swerve in robot mode. And you can see, as I was talking about before, the uh, spoiler is different on Jazz as compared to Sideswipe. So pretty cool. Uh, of course, articulation remains the same. Uh, head is on a ball joint. Uh, as you saw before, the shoulders were actually on a, uh, a ball joint. Uh, swivel at the bicep, bend at the elbow. Uh, the hands are on ball joints. Uh, there really is no waist articulation. And then, uh, of course, you have the hip slash leg. You can go forward, back, out to the side. You do have a swivel at the hip, bend at the knee, and that is all you have for articulation for side swipe. Now, the weapon. Let's take a look at that. As you can see, there's a handle here. You can certainly place it in to uh, side swipe's hand. And I've seen people pose it with the other peg here uh, in the other hand. Although I'm not going to really attempt that, I've seen people do it. Um, which you can see, pretty cool weapon, and it's pretty heavy. You can see here the the arm is really uh, not doing a good job of holding it up. At least on my figure, of course, um, you can you can fix that. You, you can apply the uh, some super glue or nail polish to the ball joint, and that should roughen up uh, the actual ball joint and make it a little bit uh, more resistance to the uh, the arm going down, especially with a weapon in there, of course. So, yeah, it's just a fantastic uh, retool uh, of the Jazz figure. I, I really am impressed. I can't say that or stress that enough how uh, impressed I am with the, with the amount of retooling uh, this figure has as compared to the original Jazz figure. Uh, so, very nice job on Hasbro's part. Because, uh, like I say, they simply could have just, you know, slapped some, you know, made the plastic here red, and change the head sculpt and and be done with it and that would they could they they could very well have called that a new figure but this is actually a significantly newer figure than the jazz figure and by the way let me show you the head sculpt there of course is jazz and the new side swipe head sculpt pretty cool all right well, thanks for watching. This has been my review of Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Sideswipe.